Yeah, yeah. Turn to the investigation now of uh, former President Trump's handling of classified documents. Reaching a potential inflection point here with federal prosecutors informing Trump's legal team that he is a target of special counsel Jack Smith's investigation. Now, this is a key sign an indictment against the former president could be near. Earlier today, President Biden was asked why Americans should believe the Department of Justice is independent while former President Trump repeatedly attacks it. Watch. Because you notice I have never once, not one single time, suggested the Justice Department what they should do or not do relative to bringing a charge or not bringing a charge. I'm honest. May I'll get your thoughts in a second, but Julia, what'd you make of the president there? Yeah, look, I mean, I'm not surprised by what the president said. This is something that we've heard repeatedly from him and his allies. What I'm really paying attention to is how does this impact the GOP primary field right now? I mean, it seems like we were here. We actually were here a couple of months ago with an indictment. So what does DeSantis do? What do these other Republicans do? So um, it's interesting to see how these two events are happening in a parallel. What'd so, you make of Joe Biden's comments there? I mean, I, I take him at his word, right? He doesn't need to direct the DOJ to say that. In fact, I think Chris Ray would have really appreciated almost if he did direct him, because then he could have said no and, you know, said I'm, you know, I'm the bigger man by saying no to the White House. But the problem that Americans are sensing is that the DOJ itself is politicized. They're not having to be asked by the White House. They are targeting Catholics as terrorists. They are saying that if you have questions about January 6th investigations, we're going to put you on indefinite unpaid leave. These types of things culminating in the prosecution of a former president, which can you imagine a nation where that is what we do now? I, I, we can't imagine, but we're about to. You know the president as well as anyone, a I would bit. think, or, or up yeah. a little bit, uh, as former chief of staff. What do you think he's thinking right now? Um, if this case is as weak as the one was in Manhattan, he will turn it to his advantage in the primary. I, I, mm -hmm. I, the FBI does have a credibility issue. Law enforcement generally has a credibility issue, at least when it comes to Donald Trump. If this case is flimsy, he will use it to his advantage. If they do charge him, I hope for the sake of the credibility of the DOJ that it's really serious documents or really bad behavior or both. If they've got him on a technical right. violation because he took the classified menus from state dinners, right. they are, this I, is really gonna undermine. I guess, I guess the- bad, bad facts are bad facts. Espionage is espionage. You know, the Republican narrative of politicalization of DOJ, that started in 2016 under Trump. Before 2016, you may have had concerns, but it wasn't front and center. Now, espionage and him taking the documents, him hiding the documents, and not giving them back, and having to have a search warrant for his documents, that's pretty serious bad conduct if they got that, make that case. And, and by the way, in New what York, the, what the you've got 30 counts of fraud. Do, it may be connected what to- What if the documents are meaningless? What, what if, what if, well, what we if don't he, know that? And I guess that, that goes back to the point. question that's of, why, do you think it's a weak case? Like, we obviously well, don't know right now, but what does your gut tell you? Do you think it's a weak case or no? I think the bad acts, at least what has come out in regard to, not so much whether the documents are meaningless, but his efforts, if that recording is true, his efforts to retain them when they were sought, either legally or through some type of political discussion, his efforts to, uh, to keep them, right. if you will, is very different than Pence and anyone else. And you can't ignore that. And it's Donald Trump, and he even admitted taking the documents and then said he could, on, on CNN, said that he could take them and, and make them, uh, release them without them being secret uh, by just by his choice, if you will. That's just not true, and it's illegal. Last thought, real quick. Yeah, I guess I just don't think that Republicans, for primary concerns, are care whether the president is a hoarder, right? They care about whether he's trying to harm the country. There you go. And that distinction really will matter. You Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.